Welcome back to the Texas music scene. Let's get the story behind the making of Long Time Coming from Mickey and Gary Braun of Mickey and the Motor Cars. Their 2019 project was produced by Keith Gaddis. Check it out. We brought in a pile of tunes, and we'd sat down, we played them all, and uh, we chose uh, about 14 songs that we were gonna work on, and we picked the ones that we wanted that we thought were gonna fit together for the record. And then Keith brought in his guys, and every morning we'd come in, we'd sit down, we'd have coffee, and uh, we'd, he'd chart out the songs. We'd all sit in this little tiny living room area. I'd play it acoustic, or if it was Gary's tune, he'd play it acoustic. And they'd all sit there and take notes. And then we'd go in the studio and hit red. Track it, live. Track it, yeah. Not here without you around. And it all looks the same. But everything has changed. Ever since you left this town. He just has a great ear and a different ear for a lot of stuff, you know. You try to visualize how you hear a song as you're writing it, which I do all the time, and he really knows how to take a song and stack it and make it worth, or get everything out of it, you know. And it speaks volumes at the end of the day when the record is finally done. Break My Heart, I wrote that with Jeff Crosby. Uh, we wrote that up in Idaho. And um, I guess it was last summer. We were both just kind of, you know, in that place. He had this girlfriend that he just broke up with and he was really heartbroken about it. And I say that like it's funny. It wasn't because he was really sad. But, um, so he had kind of that hook line. I can't say I didn't love letting you break my heart was his line. And we just kind of built it from there and it was, it happened pretty fast. We wrote it in maybe a couple hours. Yeah, Pioneer Town Studios is a very comfortable place to record. It's um, laid it's got back. A, yeah, it's very laid back, and it's got he's got like a campfire out front. So if you're not tracking, you can just go out there and hang and. We barbecued a bunch. And just after we were done recording, we'd stay there for three or sometimes three or four hours and just sometimes listen to the tracks we did that day and sometimes we'd just hang out and drink beer by the fire. Years, it's kind of like the opposite from... of what I think people would envision when they think you're going to go to Nashville and make a record, you know, and you're going to walk into this huge skyscraper, you know, with a bunch of, you know, limousines and what, like Nashville's type of the TV show Nashville type of things, you know, and it's not like that, at least not at Keith's place. It's, it's a lot more like recording at Cedar Creek here in Austin or something where you're out in the open and you're kind of away from the city and can just sit down and enjoy it. Kind of get in the groove. 